Hey guys, it's me, your Ramadi, and welcome to a new video. Today, I will be telling you the exact documents you need to take to your biometric appointment for your spouse visa application. Now, a bit of background before we begin is that, as you may know from an earlier video I've made, that I've managed to get my wife successfully to the UK on a spouse visa. So I've been through this process. I know the documents you need. And yeah, let's begin and let me show you what you need. Let me make my screen a bit smaller so we can see the documents. All right, so... These are all the documents you need to take with you. We'll start with number one. Number one is your appointment confirmation for the biometric appointment. This is very important because I've seen people, when we were at the biometric office, people got rejected because they didn't have the confirmation with them. So you can, you, I'd recommend print this out and take it with you where it clearly shows the date, the time and your name. Number two, we have the duly completed application form. Now, this is the main application form that you have to fill in at the start, which includes um, your name, your passport number, uh, your lawyer's name, maybe uh, your spouse's name, uh, their information, the background, their, their parents' name, all that stuff. That all needs to be included. Number three. We have the payments for application and appointment booking. This is very important because you do not want to go there and get rejected by the people at the front of the door saying that, oh, there's no proof you've paid so you can't come in. So make sure you take any receipts with you, payment confirmations, uh, get a copy of the email that you get for email confirmation of payment. Take that with you as well. And also the appointment booking has mentioned that you have, an, that you have a biometric appointment that day that you need to take with you. So yeah. Please do take that with you. Uh, number four, we have the applicant's passport. So applicant, uh, so for example, I'm the applicant as I brought my wife uh, on a spouse visa, spouse visa. So they needed a copy of my passport. And this needs to be in an A4 page, um, color, color copy. Uh, and it's got your whole uh, main passport page with your photo and the page at the top as well. So you need that. And then you also need the spouse's British passport. Okay, so this may actually be, I may have mixed it up. So the applicant's passport uh, was my wife's passport and the spouse's British passport is my passport. So for this, for the passports, you need to make sure that they have date, they're not expired and they're very clear and easy to read. So yeah, passports, you must take that. Next, uh, if you're coming on a spouse visa, that means you should be legally married. So you need proof of your marriage uh, in the marriage certificate, or whichever language it may be, if you're married in like, I don't know, like Bangladesh, maybe in Bengali, but you need to make sure it's translated into English as well. So there's loads of companies out there who offer, who offer translation services and you need to get it um, stamped as well. Like a, it's a proper translation. It's not one of those ones you can get off like the Fiverr. You need to go to an actual company and get it stamped as a approved uh, translation. So you need to take both the original certificate, a copy of that, and the translation. <clears throat> Next, we have the English language test for the spouse. So for my wife, it was the B1 English test. I don't know, it might be different if you're coming from different uh, other different countries, but you need to have passed uh, the English uh, speaking or language test and have proof of that certificate with you as well, because they do check that. Next, uh, the spouse's employment contract uh, and the UK employment uh, verification letter. So as I am um, the spouse, uh, I had to show my employment contracts uh, for the last 12 uh, employment contract and my employment verification letter. So if you're applying for your spouse to come to the UK, you need to make sure from your workplace you have your contract and you have a verification letter verifying that you your name work at this company since this day and that you're full-time because they need to see that as well next um, they needed my pay slips and my corresponding bank statements for the past 12 months so basically make sure guys uh, you print out a copy of your bank statements for 12 months and also the corresponding pay slip from your company or wherever you work this is very important because they make they need to see proof that the payment, the pay slips payment has gone into your bank account. Next, um, we you need for the spouse's uh, uh, details. They also need the P60s. So the P60s, everyone should have. If you're not, um, get in touch with your HR team or like your accountant. So because I applied this year, um, they needed the last two P60s. So 2021 and 2022. 
So yeah, this is very easy to get accountant or your workplace should have that. Next, um, because I applied and the residence of where my wife is staying is at my home, what you need for you, that is you need a house deed. Uh, you can get this from the government website in the UK. I think it costs about £3 to get a house deed and a letter of support from the applicant's father-in-law, who is my dad, uh, who owns the property. So you also need to get proof, uh, written proof from the homeowner that, you know, your <clears throat> spouse can when she when they come into the UK live uh, in in the house or property uh, this may be different for a flat I'm not too sure whether they have house deeds so that may be something you want to check check with a lawyer or you can use um, the GoFees uh, uh, HQ link that you can find in the description box uh, you just put in which country you're traveling from where you're going and it gives you all the documents you need so yeah go check out that link uh, in the comment in the description box <clears throat> I'll also pin it on the comments as well so you know feel free to check out that link and it, it may help you guys as well uh, next uh, what they also needed to see was the council tax for the property uh, where my wife uh, would be staying at for the period 2022 2023 now because uh, I'm living in the house I had to also get a copy of the council tax and scan that as well so please guys make sure you also take that document as well now we're on to our last two so the next one is a proof of a genuine relationship now if you're applying as a spouse visa this should be pretty easy for you because you should be legally married so you should have pictures from that ceremony and you also have, should have pictures of you guys you know together going on a honeymoon going on a holiday all that type of stuff so take a, a few pictures or print them out from you know different places that you know that shows that you've been uh, together and also one thing they like as well is like plane tickets that you've been traveling together train tickets all that type of stuff just to show you know that you're genuine and it's real finally um if your spouse has been in the uk before uh, maybe if she's from Europe, she might have travelled to the UK. She'll have to uh, provide payment receipts of all treatment uh, she received or that he received in the UK. So this is very important. Any dental work, um, going to the hospital, anything, physio, you need to add that in as well in the application form when you go to the biometric appointment, of course. So guys, there we have it. This is your complete breakdown of the documents you need for the biometric appointment. Please make sure um, you take everything because you do not want to go there, submit the application and it gets rejected because it is very expensive. So please prepare. These are the, all the documents I have taken and this is what worked for me. So please review this and if you do not have any documents that are stated here, I would very much recommend you um, to get it. And yeah, I, got, I wish you guys, everyone who's watching this video, the best in the process if they're applying for the spouse visa, any type of visa, please, uh, you know, you have my best wishes. And also do check out the Visa HQ link in the description box as well. Uh, they can provide you with some extra help on, on what documents are needed and any specific services as well. They've got a lovely customer service team as well to help. So yeah, guys, I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed this video. hope you guys enjoyed this breakdown. I've tried to get straight to the point. I didn't want to waste anyone's time. And yeah, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to comment below whether I should make any other videos about the visa process or anything else you guys would like to know. I'll be happy to make a video about it. And as always, be sure to like, subscribe and share. And peace.